All right, so I'm just going to give you a couple of things to test here. And we'll start by going to, let's see, uh, the registry. So Windows key in plus R, which is on your keyboard between Control and Alt, and R at the same time. You get this window, regedit. In the last uh, tutorial I gave you, I want you to make sure that you, you did this within the local machine. So it's HK, uh, HK local machine software and down here where it says wow 6432 node and if we go down further it should be Steinberg hypersonic 2. Alright so in the tutorial I gave you before I just put the backslash backslash and in the two different spots and then a forward slash at the end. I'm going to quickly check out that I'm going to the right location or it's directing to the right location uh, in this case it's right here see I'm at the folder where I can see the actual effects the, the names of the uh, the different uh, where the patch folders are so up at the top here I'm just verifying it says I VST data there's the spaces everything exactly verba verbatim as it is here I know that that's right it works for me right so okay now that we check that go up to the top okay so now I want you to go to H key current user up here then just uh, scroll down to software and see where it says classes click on that now we're gonna go down to virtual machine right here machine software Wow node 30 64 32 node and Steinberg hypersonic okay so now that you're at Steinberg take a look here punch in your content location okay so we've got two of the locations of where the hypersonic uh, content location is located in the registry now we're going to go down to your user profile for the account that you're on right now on Windows. So go down to the H key users. I keep my computer pretty clean, right? And I only have uh, two user profiles on, on here and they represent themselves as uh, S1521. 21 stands for uh, standard administrative user. Basically it's a security key, right? it just keeps a log of all the user profiles and the registries that pertain to those individual user profiles for security right the 18 19 20 they are not relevant to you or any other ones so you'll see that there's two different 101s 101 is the identifier to the user account that uh, it pertains to we're gonna edit to actually both uh, the one that has nothing and the one that says classes and I know that my user profile is definitely 101. This is the, the account that I'm on right now that has the in FL Studio installation on it. So if you run FL Studio on multiple accounts, then you'll have to do the same next two steps on the other accounts that are installed on this. So go open the one that you know where it's installed or it really doesn't matter you can guess by trial and error uh, by opening this next few folders that I'm about to show you alright so click on your account then go down to software now click on classes and then scroll down to virtual store machine software wow 6432 node steinberg and hypersonic and double check your content location here okay so we've checked the content location there and it's it's accurate for me which is good click on classes for the same account as we just previously edited and scroll down to 
virtual store machine software wow 6432 node Steinberg hypersonic and there we have the same content location it's set properly so that's four different locations that we've just validated that the uh, content location is directing to the right spot so when hypersonic opens no matter what it will read out of the registry and then it will find that location I think you mentioned that you previously had this installed uh, and it was working or something along those lines so I suspect that one of these locations is going to be offset and not not the not direct pointing to the right location so I'm talk I'm saying basically validate that you know it's identical verbatim to where your your content location is with the spaces and everything right okay so now that we've done that what I want you to do is restart your computer and then try it and see how it goes so if it's not that then I think it might be a permissions problem and what we'll need to do is basically try it with uh, administration permissions so what you can actually do at that point is open your FL studio and administ run as administrator and then just as you uh, checked out on that first video go ahead and just drop your hypersonic 2 bridged saved FXP file And then you'll be able to validate that it's uh, set to pro bridged automatically already. Now, if you haven't done this already, uh, I advise you to go back and watch that first video where I talk about um, fixing the bridge mode. Because right at the end of the video, I talk about how to make a little template. So mine opens up right away. Now, there's also, if I try to add, I'll be able to open it brand new. So, I'm going over the tab here. We know that it's not bridged. So, if I set it to bridged, it goes to the program instead of crashing on the uh, content set location, which is what you're having, right? And because it can read from the, the registry what may have been happening before is that uh, your FL Studio may not have had sufficient permissions to use the information it requires out of the registry to uh, know where the content location is and that could actually be the reason why it crashes in the first place because either the content location is completely off in the registry or if there's no content location it prompts that box to come up so that you can set the location and if you didn't have administrative privileges then you can't change any information in the registry uh, and that's what you would be setting so if this doesn't work give me a shout and we'll figure out something else we'll try maybe doing some folder editing with permissions and we'll go from there all right I'm pretty sure though that that will solve your issue but uh, thanks anyways buddy for pointing that out because uh, I never thought about locations of where hypersonic uh, is on in the registry so I appreciate it alright take care